Uh, good afternoon, my cellmates. I am going to do, um, probably going to turn out a nice, bright, and uplifting pour um, with some paints uh, that I have left over. Well, left over. I make a great big load of paints up and keep painting till they're all gone. But I'm going to um, painting on this canvas. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do what I normally do um, if you've watched my channel before. I'm going to layer the colours. Okay, well, I probably will do it this way. Oh, I think they didn't even look at what I was doing with my paint then. I'm still on these. Um, oh, that might not. I'll try and see if I can get that in the frame. That's it. To do it that way. Um, normally I, oh well, I just exp I, I just do what I'm going to do. So it's it's going in kind of. I'm gonna do more thicker lines. I don't started off exactly how I thought that I wouldn't do. I was gonna just do separate lines of colours. So I want to, it, it's kind of a test to me to see what the uh, swipe colour looks like over when you haven't got, like I normally layer the colours and then tilt them to mix with each other. I have done this before a, a while ago, but um, I just want to layer the colours in uh, lines to get the effect of the cells over the separate colours just to um, it's just another little experiment that I've got in my head if it turns out it turns out and if not then you will learn by my mistakes you know not to do it again so that's that was uh, I am using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics again today um, which I love so that was the orange and this is the cerulean blue cerulean is that the correct name for it cerulean cerulean blue so, had a gorgeous gorgeous day here in Queensland today um, if you're in Australia and you will certainly know that today is um, what they call Bathurst Day. It's a car race uh, that's held every year at Bathurst, supercar race. Uh, you may very well know it if you live overseas too. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as famous overseas as what it is in Australia. But um, very, you know, kind of all the guys want to stop in front of the TV with a beer watching the um, races so my husband has worked in between because they've been on basically since yesterday so he has worked in between um, putting it still working on this carport that um at the front I will post some pictures on my Facebook page of his carport how he's going with that he's uh, doing a good job we were both out there in the sun this morning and um, I was helping him hold some pieces of uh, steel colour bond up while he fixed them in their spots. So I felt as though he said, I suppose you're going to tell everybody now that you've built this carport. I said, yep, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we've gone orange, we've gone the purple and we've gone the cerulean blue. So this is the beautiful turquoise that is um, Montmartre's turquoise. And I love it, really do love it. Now I am gonna swipe right from this top bit up here. And I don't like, I'm gonna, I don't like just one color underneath that. I don't like it to be a thick line of one color. But 
but um, we'll just see how we go. So I am going to, I am doing this one more linear than I would normally do. Normally I mi like mixing the colours by the tilt or mix the colours, but I'm going to do this more linear, keeping the, the lines. Okay, that's gone, that's gone. Um, just one little bit of dark I'm going to put in here, which is the real dark navy, but I'm only going to, hopefully only, because I don't want it to take over, so I'm just trying to just put a little bit. Just a bit of contrast in. And just a little line. I still hope that doesn't take over, but we're about to find out, I'm sure. So, okay, I'm um, going to just tilt it to get an even coverage on my canvas. Um, these paints were made up with pouring medium of Elmer's glue and water. My ratios and my how I mix, I have got a video um, of that, but they're also, if you have a look in the drop down box of this particular video, you'll ha uh, see my pouring medium ratios and you'll see my um, online supplier for paints and the Helmar silicon that I use which I absolutely think is one of the best um, and it's very very cheap compared to some so um, even in the US and America you can get it for less than uh, seven or eight dollars so that's pretty good pretty good okay so as you notice that this time I haven't uh, got all the colours mixing, they're, they're sort of, sort of, they are staying linear or wobbly linear but that's good, I like wobbly. Just finger popping, which is basically the paints on the edge I'm using to cover my edges. Not sure, I can't see around the back but I would go around there obviously after I've finished, making sure it's all covered. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So just have a little guess what colour I'm going to swipe it with. See if you can guess, see if you can guess. Have a little think. Does anybody that knows me or my work knows that I don't um, go for just a black or a white swipe? a bit out there so just okay I'm going to use this nice bright yellow and now I'm wondering whether I swipe down from the top I'll actually like swiping over the purple first with the yellow Okay, that's change of plan people, change of plan. I'm going to go that way. So, bear with me. It's always a, you can always change your mind, that's it. You don't have to stick to the original plan. Well, that's my thing anyway. <laughs> it's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Okay, I just put, need to pull that back a little. I hope you still got it in the frame of the camera because I've put that canvas lengthways. Oh, it should be good. Good to go. Okay. Just straighten it up a bit. And it's nice bright yellow. No, well, that's what I'm going to use to swipe. I'll try and do a little bit thicker line on that but as you notice I like the colours to, to remain underneath too I don't just like the um, uh, bare line underneath so I'm going to put a little bit oh gosh oh gone a bit crazy there all right Alrighty, here we go, here we go, here we go. And get um 
I mean, you can use whatever uh, you have available or whatever works best for you, but I absolutely find that these uh, file dividers that file dividers that just a pl soft plastic file divider that you get from um, an office works or, or something of the likes stationary just to open up this bit up so I can wipe my plastic on it so this is nice because it's A4 size um, and this is going to fit all the way down this canvas if it misses the very sides I'm absolutely not worried about that so just gently gently drop about well usually I'll, I'll just leave about a centimeter that's actually I shouldn't have um, I probably were too close to the top okay but that is fine so nothing that can't be fixed nothing that can't be fixed at all no, remember we're doing abstract so it doesn't have to be perfect don't beat yourself up about your work if you don't think that it's coming out as nice as what you see on all the on the art pages you know because we all started somewhere and it's pretty amazing how far you can come and develop your art skill in sometimes a short amount of time and then other times it takes longer my dog hey ouch she's um, found a hole in the biscuit in the big tub of biscuit uh, dog biscuits i've got here so she's working her way through no that's naughty oh that's obviously a mouse or something sorry i've got a naughty puppy she found a hole in the side of the biscuits and thought well mum's busy I can um, just go on my own little merry way here not see I took too much off there doesn't really matter because I'm sure it's just left I don't want it to leave the canvas bald, bald. but it's all right just relax about it look at these cells coming already so nice okay so now for the big gun my magic wand so i know some of this wow you've got a this is a, a trade like it is a butane torch um and it is yeah kind of um bit scary uh, you know so if you are a beginner i would absolutely suggest that you don't use one of these that you use the a uh, little cream brulee browning torch that they use for cooking um, you can use it in the same manner it's only that I'm used to using this but it still frightens me so I can very well understand why a beginner and always have your fire extinguisher I've got a fire extinguisher and um, yeah protective glasses everything for protection okay I'm just lighting my gun and I'm going to wave my magic wand, my cell activator. This, yeah, this gas in this has only just been filled up, so it's quite fierce. Okay, that's really crazy. Crazy little, tiny little um, cells in this one. I am going to leave this to develop I'll give you a close-up I mean there's some amazing cells now the colors are starting to lift and push through it um, crazy little cells popping up everywhere and they will develop I'm just gonna put some of this color that I have left just run it down the side I think I must have just pressed a little bit too hard with my swipe tool because it took away the paint at the top more than I would do normally see so even though like I've done it a thousand times probably you can still not have things work out how you would normally just gonna let the 
paint dribble and do its own thing down there because this will definitely morph and change this painting whether I decide to do some balloon work on it I'm not sure but I've got some this orange these are just all coming up now so I will give you a close-up and then I will come back and let you see let you see the magic oh that looks really lovely actually yeah talk about chameleon chameleon wow very nice can't really see the cells so look at those really gorgeous and down the bottom that orange is is making its um, self known now it's coming up I will come back let it dry for an hour and come back and just show you after an hour if, if it's changed at all and if I'm gonna do anything else further with it or I just like it as it is so I'll come back and see you then thank you okay we're back we're back we're back and um, from what I see the cells haven't they haven't um, opened up too much I did think they would open up a lot more they're absolutely gorgeous and I could absolutely just leave it exactly like that because that will, they will still draw as it's dry and that all that beautiful colour under there will come through. But I'm not. I'm going to um, jillify it with my balloon. So if you like that and you like the colours, then you need to leave the video now because I'm going to um, do some rolling and embellishing of it. So I'll just see what colours I can bring up. All good fun. So here we go. Okay, wow, that's, oh yeah, because I've done the colours in the strips, I'm not gonna have the intermingling of the colours like I normally do. So that'll be interesting. Look at that. That would be very interesting. So I've got to kind of make sure that I roll the balloon over different colours instead of just one colour under there. But definitely looking like um, wings, birds of a feather. Maybe that will be my name for it. Oh, look at that. Actually, I haven't done a balloon roll where I've just done the colours in blocks. I've always overlapped the colours to get the beautiful colours to come through so that's a really nice look on that I like that that's really nice definitely looks like peacocky feathers because it's got those oh yeah look at this that's so nice those cells are really exceptional just very little small little um little gems in there definitely some little gems for sure oh. i'm gonna do this again i really like i thought that i would always like sticking with my um colors where i overlap the colors and tilt but this is a refreshing change for me so there you go Look at that orange come through. That is such a bright, vibrant orange. I don't really want to disturb this here. That's, um, yeah, it's kind of looking really unique. That's beautiful. In fact, I don't know whether I should do any more whatsoever. Just pushing the balloon in a little bit too. It's got a little bit of extra uh, more paint than I would you know like it could really be uh, left a little little while longer that is pretty gorgeous you know no I'm not going to do any more can you believe it you guys won't believe that <laughs> from me okay wow we I just love that those cells stayed Oh, they're just perfect and and doing the balloon roll in those solid colors is really lovely 
Yeah, birds of a feather stick together. Okay, I'm going to go with that. That's really lovely. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, uh, please subscribe and, and more than anything, um, watch my videos and hopefully you learn something and come on this crazy art journey with me. But thank you again. Very, very happy with this. Yeah, birds of a feather paw. That's what I'm going to call it. So thank you, you guys. Until next time. Bye.